Today, we talk about constant parties. Ooh, welcome friends to a new episode of Lineage 2, hanging out today on the Chrono server. I'm Clobberstomp, and today I want to talk about getting yourself into a clan. It's important to get yourself into a clan. Um, because you can get into a clan and make some friends and then you can get yourself into a really nice party and that's what this video is about today is getting yourself into a what what a lot of people call a constant party a party that you can get into and you can level with them every single night um, yeah we are doing everything on auto and I've got an assist on but we're in Tanner Tanner Canyon today and um, it's me and about a few of my clan mates and some friends from other clans and it, it works <clears throat> it's it's working really well so you can really kind of get yourself into a really nice group um, with you know a certain number of people and then you, every night you get on you can talk to your friends and then you can get leveling all day we've been leveling all weekend we go do some stuff guys went out and did uh, the dimensional siege and my clan mates went and did that uh, and then came back here today and we're still we're still leveling so I mean it's really important to get yourself in with a decent group of people uh, to be able to move forward now if you are slightly geared and you're looking for um, a clan you know, try to hit up some of the people in my clan. We we might be we're trying to look to get ourselves to have a decent amount of people that are active all the time. And um, if you're an active player and you um, are looking to get geared up and things like that, we're looking for active people. Um, I'm putting it out there. You know, if you want to speak to my clan leader, you can speak to him. Big pop of pump, he's the man. I'm not guaranteeing anything. I don't make the stipulations on what it takes to get into the clan. That's up for you to decide and for Papa. Um, but you, you got to have to kind of be willing to put forth uh, a great deal of effort. But it's really nice to get yourself into a good, good, constant party. Now, some of you, some of you guys that are new or you haven't been around Lineage 2 that much, or you're coming back, you might not know about what a constant party is. Constant party. A constant party is the same group of people that you get on with and you get into a, a party with and you play with every single night. So I don't, I'm not always at my computer every night, but I'm trying to get into my group every night. Even if I'm away from my keyboard, I'm still hanging out and leveling. Now, I've been leveling with this group all weekend. And um, it's really helpful because we all get to benefit from each one of us kind of being in the party. We all have our buffs going and things like that. Now, you'll notice that Nali is not here. Nali is off doing other things. I have her in another party doing other things with a different party. So you can split your characters up and do different things at different times, too. Um, right now, I'm just trying to level Clobber Stomp. So... Um, I'm hanging out with a few of my clan mates here and it's really really nice uh, once you get into a decent group um, you can you have some expectations then um, everybody shows up everybody's getting their uh, self into the party you're all leveling together and hopefully it's in a place that's kind of uncontested and nobody's coming to mess with you which is really nice so you can run for a couple of days um, and not really worry about being attacked or PK'd or killed. We've been here all weekend and everything has been great. So that's really nice. Um, it's going to be difficult for you guys that are in the Blazing Swamp and Hellbound arenas to get to a spot, to find those spots because they're highly contested. Um, it's very difficult to get through those areas. And it's not really until you hit 105 until the game really opens up and here's why so in the map there's a lot of different places that our that are that are past you know 105 so we can click on hunting zones and there's quite a bit so everything after phantasmal ridge was this 
which is where you'll be 130, you know, 103, 104. You'll be hanging out in a lot of Hellbound and Enchanted Valley for a long time. But after that, the game kind of opens up. Now here's what I'm talking about. You look at this list and you're like, well, most half of that list is what you'd be doing from 99 to 106 or so. But what I mean by that is, since there's the five level party cap, if you're within five levels of a person in your group, you can't you can't level with them. So or you can level with them if you're outside of that six. Uh, let's say I was 10 100. I probably I wouldn't be able to level with this group because. Um, the highest people are 106, 107, I think. So, if I'm 102 or 101, I wouldn't be able to level. I wouldn't get any XP. So, what I'm saying is, once you get to 105, the game really opens up, and here's why. Because there's not, there's only, here, let's look at the rankings, I'll show you why. So, if you go to the server, and you look at the top ranked people, one, um, nope, not Olympiad, sorry. The top ranked people... Um, and we'll do this by server. We have one, two... Actually, we, we don't even have to count them together. We can just go all the way down. Here, let's go. So, here you go. 16. Only the top 16 people on the server are 111 and above. That means there's 16 people on the server uh, that are above me that I can't level with. Everybody from 110 and below, you can. Which is... all, And these are all the top players. And I've got a good number of these people that I level with all the time. That's what I mean why it's really important to get yourself to 105. Because once you get to 105, you can level with the majority of the people that are have been playing for a long time. And if you get yourself into a clan that has a bunch of these people that are 107, 108, 109, you, you have a really good advantage because you can get into some of these parties where they can help get you leveled up faster. So it's really important to continue to focus, try to get in every night, play in the game, and try to get yourself to 105. Because once you do, the game really opens up because of the amount of players that you get to be able to party with. Um, now, the other piece of the equation is depending on what clan you decide to join, um, you could be on one side of the fence or the other. If you're on Nova or MS, there's it's pretty polarized one way or another. So you might want to decide who you want to be with too. There's other clans out there that only do PvE, and they try their best to stay in the PvE arena. They won't start wars. My clan really doesn't... Well, with the exception of this past weekend, we try our best not to stay in wars. <laughs> so that's something to consider as well. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dancing in the middle of smashing face. Oh, we're we're up close and personal now. <laughs> All righty. So yeah, it's really important to kind of get yourself into a constant party because there there's just so there's such a huge benefit to it. And if you're not going to get into a constant party or try to be leveling every night, then you're kind of not thinking about this game. I mean, you can come and play, but just know that you're probably not going to be making a lot of progression if you are not um, thinking about it in this kind of fashion, uh, being able to level. Because once you get to 105, after that, it, it gets really, the, the levels start to really slow down. And um, you want to get yourself in with a couple of players that are in the 106 to 110 region who can help keep you moving in the right direction um, doo -doo 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 -doo. You, and and plus once you start to get to some of these places you see these weapons that people have um, you see them in town every once in a while but you're out at these places leveling and there's a lot of there's a lot of gear out in these places which is kind of cool to see but there you go constant parties people I hope you've enjoyed this episode I most certainly have it's been eye-opening for me uh, I hope it's been eye-opening for you. Constant parties are pretty cool. Um, oh, there's some really good screenshots when we get that close. Awesome. So, um, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Get yourself into a clan. Get yourself into a constant party. It's really nice. And uh, hopefully, if you get into a decent constant party that's up every night and you're always trying to be playing all the time and you got your macro set, 
you can really kind of push in a you know in a couple of weeks you can you know make quite a few percentage points which is really nice so just for your instance this weekend um, I was like at 16 percent or this past week I was at 16 percent now I'm at 30 so you can really make some levels you can really move forward if you get yourself into a party that's doing it all the time and, and you know to be honest with you I'm not in front of my computer all day long I, you know I just log in I take a look to see if I'm I'm alive if I am cool great I walk away I go to some other stuff if I'm not then I, I res I get up I, I get back here and we continue on that's kind of how you do it man um, and before you know it, a couple of weeks will pass, and then you'll, you've made a level. Um, and you went from 103 to 104, and bam, there you go. You've moved forward. It's nice. All right, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you had, please stomp the like button. It really helps me out. It shows your support, and it lets me know that you want to see more. As always, please like and share on your favorite social media. I'll catch you guys in the next